Hello and welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I am your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson, you will be learning how to speak about your hometown. Well, we can make a lot of interesting sentences by keeping some questions in mind. So what is the first thing you can talk about? What is your hometown like? Is it a city? Is it a town? Or it's a small village. So let's look at some examples. I live in Delhi. It's the capital city. So your hometown can be Delhi, which is the capital of India. And another example you can look at it is I live in Mumbai. It's a huge city. What is the meaning of huge? Huge means very big. And another example you can give is I live in Gokarna, a small town in Karnataka. So your hometown can be a city, a village or a town. So what's your hometown like? Now let's look at how you can add details. For example, let's see the next question. What is your hometown famous for? So the next detail you can add is about what your hometown is famous for. Let's look at some examples. Delhi is famous for its tourist attractions, food and marketplaces. There are many interesting places such as the Red Fort, the Jantar Mantar, the Jama Masjid, the Qutub Minar, the Lotus Temple and the Rashtrapati Bhavan. Delhi is a shopper's paradise with numerous markets of which Chandini Chowk is the most famous one. So you're talking about how Delhi is full of markets, full of interesting places and you're telling, you're talking about what your hometown is famous for. Now let's look at another example. This is about Mumbai. Mumbai is famous for its monuments, beaches and street food. There are many places of interest such as the Gateway of India, the Elephanta Caves, the Shivaji Park, Siddhivinayak Temple and many more. It's a cosmopolitan city where people from all over India live and work. It is a country's financial and commercial capital. So this is about Mumbai. So Mumbai is a very interesting place. Now let's look at the next example. Gokarna is a small town in Karnataka known for its temples, beaches and pristine waters and picturesque landscape. Now this is a very interesting sentence. What is the meaning of pristine waters? Pristine means very pure. And what is the meaning of picturesque landscape? Picturesque landscape means scenic beauty of the all the places around. So you have mountains, you have beautiful greenery around, nice scenery around. So when it's so beautiful, you say picturesque landscape. And the next sentence is, it's the perfect destination for travelers who want or who seek a quiet vacation. So people who want to go for a quiet holiday can visit Gokarna. So it's famous for its beaches and temples. Next, what do you like about your hometown? So I'm sure you all like something about your hometown. Your hometown must be good for something and you must be loving it for some special thing that it has got to offer. Now let's look at some examples. I like Delhi because it has everything to make you live life to the fullest. So Delhi has everything. So when you want to talk about Delhi, you can say Delhi has everything to offer. You can live life to the fullest. So you can enjoy life in Delhi. The next example is Mumbai is rightly called the city of dreams. It has opportunities for all. So Mumbai is usually called the city of dreams. Did you know that? It has opportunities for all. So it's a great place to live in. So this is about Mumbai. Now the next example. I love living in Gokarna because it's a temple town. The beaches make it the perfect place to relax. Gokarna is full of beaches and temples so it's a perfect place look at the words that we are using to describe the place now let's go to the next uh, sentence or the next detail that you can add 
it's about what is not very nice about my hometown. So what are the things you don't really like about your hometown? It may be a great place, but there are some negative things in every place. So how do you speak about that? Now let's look at some examples. Delhi is a nice place to live in, but I don't like the pollution. Moreover, the cost of living is quite high. That means there's a lot of pollution. The cost of living is very high. So it's not very nice. The next example, Mumbai is a good place to live in, but it's very crowded. It can be stressful sometimes. So you know, Mumbai is a very crowded place, a lot of rush. People are always in a rush. So that's not very nice about the place. The next example, Gokarna is a beautiful place to live in, but it gets very crowded with tourists round the year. Wish it was quieter. So Gokarna is a small town, but it's crowded with tourists. So when it's crowded with tourists, it can become very, very, you know, noisy. So you can say, wish it was quieter. So did you see how we are talking about the hometown? So we have looked at some questions like, what is your hometown like? The first thing you can talk about is, what is your hometown like? Is it a city, village or a town? The second thing you can talk about is, what is your hometown famous for? And the next thing you can talk about is, why is your hometown a great place to live in? Why you like your hometown? What you like about your hometown? And the last thing you can talk about is, what is not very nice about your hometown? So the negatives, the small negative things about your hometown, you can add here. So I hope you, under, you have understood how to make a nice, you know, you can make some sentences, we can make nice sentences about your hometown and speak about it. So the next time you want to talk about your hometown, I'm sure you'll be very, very, very confident and you'll be able to make sentences that are very interesting and beautiful about your hometown. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'm sure you will watch this video again and again to learn how you can make sentences properly and clearly. Do like, share and subscribe to our videos. Please post your valuable feedback so that we can come out with many more interesting videos for all of you. So thank you for watching. See you soon with yet another interesting video. Goodbye.